Okay, welcome back to the video. And as y'all can see, there is no face cam in this video. And if you've been watching the channel consistently lately, or you're new, you probably don't know that recently I've been recording pretty much every single video with a face cam. Now, if you look at my community tab, I actually just posted a couple hours ago, feeling sick today, so no upload, next video in the works. And that is the reason why I'm not recording this one with face cam. I'm feeling very, very sick today. So I figured I should probably just do this one without. And ironically, this is the first video I've recorded in, I wanna say maybe a month without me doing a face cam that's crazy because i used to never do it at all but anyways that's enough talking y'all might not even see this video i might re-record this thing completely with a face cam i'm not sure but today's video we're going to talk about a new roblox hunter x hunter game but i hesitate to use that word because i don't know how much value it has considering this game isn't seriously new but it is i guess i'll start this video off by taking you guys to around two years ago and i'm assuming most of y'all were on the platform just like me at the time and just for that you guys should know i'm talking about a game called hunter x hunter ultimate finale now i'm sure y'all going to the comments right now and saying chris what are you talking about this game is not new i will get to it basically what happened with this game is it came out around two years ago and the game died <laughs> i'm not gonna lie the game just died pretty quickly because what everybody figured out upon playing the game after around 10 minutes of release is the game literally just had no content <laughs> and that was literally it or my bad the game did have content but the content was just you sitting there punching npcs for 10 minutes and yeah that was basically it i'm sure you already bought a comment chris what do you mean isn't every game like that where you just sit there and beat up npcs for 10 minutes and honestly y'all would be right but this is kind of the game that at least in my opinion kind of started the bandit beating trend on roblox this game and heroes ultimatum i feel like are two of the biggest reasons why anime games in general are the way they are right now i feel like these were just kind of the leading bandit beating I don't know y'all could disagree y'all could agree but anyway y'all are wondering sly why you recording this video in this game obviously it died a little while ago well yes the game did die a little while ago but the owner of Eden actually was apparently supposed to be working on a sequel and I already covered this in a previous video but I figured seeing as I made a video on Heroes Ultimatum's return around two weeks ago why not make a video on this now, on a complete side note lately I've been playing this Roblox game called Type Soul this is a new Roblox Bleach game I'll be recording a video on this really soon hopefully oh I can't vote <laughs> Hopefully when I'm not as sick and I can actually record it with face cam, but that game is basically a closed community Roblox Bleach game and it's just a really well made project and you could tell developers of that game actually enjoy Bleach. And I don't know, playing a game like that kind of made me think to myself, how fun would it be if we had a game like that but for Hunter x Hunter? Anyway, for today's video I'll be talking about the apparent sequel, if I'm not mistaken, to Ultimate Finale and that is a game called, I actually don't remember, hold up, I yo, so I'm not gonna lie, I spent like 10 minutes looking for the game's name, I can't find find it but basically this is the sequel to hunter x hunter ultimate finale Vidin completely gave up on the previous project and he said i'm gonna make a second game now if you look at Vidin, this is the owner's youtube channel you can see right here that after closing the game he says or he posts a video called hunter x hunter and why it's being remade and in this video he's referring to ultimate finale now if you look in the top comments you can see a whole bunch of youtubers like vanasu ethereal miracle i made some comments on here as well and basically this is the summarization that we all came to glad you're not giving up on the project Roblox desperately needs a Hunter x Hunter game. Can't wait to play the game in the future. Best of luck. And this was a year ago. I might actually quickly react to this last part, which is called our improvement and why we're making a new game for those that haven't seen this before. So I'll actually react to this real quick. I look back at the current game and I just see, you know, there's... So he's talking about Ultimate Finale here. You know, there's a lot of... New things we can add to the game. Because... Personally, my skills have gotten a lot better. My builder skills have gotten a lot better. Like overall, the whole team has gotten. Basically, he's saying he's improved a lot. More skillful at what we do. And I want to bring that product to you guys with an updated game. That isn't almost two years old. Yeah, this game is two years old. So obviously, obviously now the game is, uh, I think like three and a half, four years old. So yeah, it's, it's been a decent amount of time. It was like roughly 1.5 years old. So basically what you guys were playing was just like an outdated version of our current like abilities. Because all it was, we were just updating a completely old game and just literally just adding on to it. So him saying that is, he, he's basically saying that he could do a lot better. And that's kind of the main reason why I'm making this video is because I'm not really seeing that. I'm not gonna lie, like, he said this a year ago, guys. And if you look at Vida's YouTube channel, the last sneak peek he posted from this game was six months ago, which is this right here. I already saw this, but I'll show you guys. It's only 34 seconds. So I think this is like a Hunter exam cutscene or something like that. I'm not sure. 
the optimistic, strong, and unorthodox people like you are called hunters. Yeah, it's just a little cutscene, but at the very least, this does kind of show that he's still working on the game, but he really has not shown us much. And there's also this clip from 12 months ago, so that's basically a full year. I've already seen this. Since that last clip I just showed y'all, I have heard and seen absolutely nothing from this game. And the reason why I'm making this video is to kind of bring these games back to the light, because otherwise, I, I truthfully feel like the developers themselves aren't even going to talk about these games. I mean, you have games like Heroes Ultimatum that's just not coming back, except it's not really coming back, seeing as the game, from what I could see in the videos that were posted, looks like it just started getting working on again. And in this game, the last thing we saw from the developers Bridge was half a year ago. I have seen absolutely nothing from this game, and honestly, it's kind of sad considering this is unfortunately the best Hunter x Hunter game we've gotten on Roblox in years, and probably the best in general. And the reason why I say unfortunately is not because the game was bad, it was not a bad game, it just needed more content. I'm saying that because they're not giving us anything, they seem to have just quit. So, yeah, this video is kind of just a quick little blast from the past, I guess. I don't know if y'all have seen anything from this game, please let me know. I'm actually very curious. It's one that I was actually really excited to play. And uh, yeah, I don't think this video really has to be any longer. I really do want to play whatever this game is called. I mean, he doesn't even give us the game's name, I just know it's a sequel he's working on. I mean, since that last video, obviously, Vidin is still alive. Like, this dude is still working on games. If you look right here, he posted a whole tutorial based off this Blue Lock game. And I think I did actually see this, so I don't know. Maybe he's just given up on the project completely. Maybe he's focused on Blue Lock now, which I won't lie, I wouldn't blame him for. I mean, Blue Lock is fire as hell. But if y'all know anything, comment down below. If y'all have seen anything, any recent sneak peeks, I'll gladly make a follow up video showing that. Please, me and just show us something, man. But yeah, this is just a quick little refresher on this game. I'll probably come back and talk about it in another few months or so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later. All right, y'all. So I was going to end the video there. I'm recording this much later at night. But while editing the video, I actually found this really cool clip of the Hunter exams. And this is not something that was in the game on release. As y'all can see the title right here, this was a test, which means that it's part of what you guys will be playing in the sequel. I just found this to be really cool. This is like the only Roblox game to actually do a actual functioning hunter exam so you can see it starts you're doing the part where you run it says good luck try to keep up with me i think i put this in the start of the video but obviously i wasn't showing you guys the actual video with just clips for editing um as y'all can see right here there we go run and if you watch the actual hunter hunter anime obviously you know what this is these are the hunter exams this dude's lagging but that's the first phase we run second phase you come here into these red boxes and then you have to do a little parkour and i don't know i think this is super cool as you can see we got killer over here just running straight forward i think that's actually the owner of the game right there beaten because like i did say this was a test this wasn't like actually in the in the real game beaten never actually put this oh he, he's he, he's trying to sabotage everybody but this is really cool he's doing like a little mountain climb here and immediately after this is another really cool phase where you guys can see he's actually like cooking here let me skip ahead a tiny bit so how this worked is you have to actually go to the spot that has your name on it as y'all can see he can't use this because that's not his name but he figures it out here so he goes here and it, there's a whole bunch of explanations here but i'm not gonna read all that and as y'all can see he has to actually cook this sausage or whatever i'm gonna skip past this but i don't know i find this to be so cool well this part is really cool too so he has to actually use gyo on his eyes i'll unmute for this bit here I think his friend says to use Gyo. Yeah, use your Gyo. I am, I yeah. am. <laughs> yeah, you hear his boy saying, use your Gyo. Y'all can see he's using Gyo. So you have to actually use a real Gyo to see which door to use. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but once he starts using it, he can tell which door he's supposed to use here. I don't know how exactly. I can't really see that, but that's the first part. Obviously, just like Trick Tower and the, or one of the tricks, I forgot, but just like the actual Hunter exams and the actual Hunter Hunter show. You do that part. And the second part here, I think, was some parkour. Pretty sure. Yeah, this part's just some parkour. Then after this, he fights the convict. Yeah, a strong convict. And obviously, this is some more bandit beating, but it's cool because it's unique, you know? Stuff like this, I don't mind fighting NPCs. That's dope. So then here is the part where I think Killua or Gone broke dude's arm, where you have to actually like do the 1v1s. And obviously, of course, it's just some more bandit beating, but. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I find this whole Hunter exam thing to be so cool. I just figured y'all want to see that, but yeah, I'm in the actual video there. Like I said, we have seen basically nothing from this game since then, and I hope we see something else soon, because it was such a huge amount of wasted potential. Beaten, don't give up on this project. Let us know something, and I'll come back and make a second video immediately, and I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to hit that sub button, and I'll go with you guys later.